and as you can see it is well beyond his chin so we're gonna take care of that right now everybody it's been a busy day here at scaly addictions but today we're going to talk to you about how to trim your tortoise's beak and if he really even needs it so in order for your tortoise to be able to open his mouth properly that beak should be nice and trim and fit nice perfectly over there shouldn't have like we would have even in humans an overbite um, what happens is they usually in the wild use rocks or hard surfaces or even in captivity, if you feed them their food on a hard surface, maybe a piece of slate rock, just them within the act of picking up their food, it naturally files down that beak. But sometimes people just don't do their research and they don't know. So we're going to today meet snails. So this is snails. He's a Herman tortoise. And as you can see, his beak is completely grown over. Um, that should be flush with that sideline on his mouth. So we're just going to do a very simple procedure, not even a procedure. I mean, when we clip our toenails, it's not a procedure. So we're just going to do a little thing real quick and it won't hurt him at all because that beak is actually made of the same stuff that our nails are made of. So he's not going to feel any pain. Now, if you do over trim, yes, you can absolutely hurt your tortoise, but we're not going to do that. So I have seen videos uh, where they use a Dremel tool. Think about it. These are tortoises. They don't know what a Dremel tool is. So the loud sound and then the vibration and then it creates heat. So if you're not careful with it, if you're using that process, then you're going to create heat and it's going to heat up his, his little mouth. And we don't want that either. And then they're going to smell the smell of that burning. Ugh, I couldn't even imagine. So guys, all you need is toenail clippers. That's it. All right. So I'm in my kitchen. I got a tripod. I'm excited. Birthday has come and gone. Anyway, so I've got some toenail clippers, and as you can see, all we're going to do is clip the top. I'm sorry, my Danes know I'm home. So we're actually just going to take one side, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our head. We're going to get him to come out. There you go. We're going to hold his head. Nope. So we're going to attempt to hold his head out. Stick out your head. Come on. Come on. All the way out. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, this is normally a two-person job. It could be so much easier, but it's just me. So, stick out your head. Come on. Just want to grab him all the way behind his head. Let's wait. I'm not going to force him to pull out his head. He usually sticks it all the way out. He has been. Here, let's give him some, some inspiration. There you go. All right. Well... He's going to try to go in. So we're going to just literally clip one side and then clip the other. It doesn't hurt him again. It's made of the same stuff. Look, where's the camera? Look at that. Ugh. All right, that's one side. I mean, and it's just breaking off because it's so overgrown. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's like, no. And then, as you see, we're going to take a little bit off the middle so we don't have a sharp spike. You're going to be able to eat so much better. And we're not going to take it all the way down this time. You know, he's never had anything like this done before. So we're just going to take it very nice and easy. Just clip that part. And then I'm going to go get a little nail file and we're going to uh, sand it down just so there's no rough edges. All right. So there you have it. Snails has had his beak trimmed. We didn't go all the way up yet because, again, he's never been through this before. So we want to make sure that we don't freak him out. I took a little nail file and I filed down the rough edges, but at least it's not below his chin anymore. So that is progress. Um, I put cuddle bone in mine with my tortoises, and I also have the turtle blocks. So I I'm sure that at this size, we'll be able to get it back down to where it's supposed to be naturally. I don't want to cut it down any shorter because then you, you know, risk um, getting where it's not 
the same material and you don't want to cut him and you don't want, you know, because that can start infection and everything else. So anyway, other than that, Snails looks good. We're going to give him a bath and then we're going to set him up for the night and he goes into quarantine just like anything else. And then next year we'll have him a cute little outside enclosure for the summer. I can't wait. We're going to have some amazing enclosures. Until next time, like, share, follow, subscribe. And if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. And sorry, my great Danes, they know I'm home and dad's outside. Their dad, my husband, making noise. So anyway, till next time, we'll see you guys later. Love reptiles. And again, do your research. <sighs> Thank you.